Sean Smith, once known as the UK's scariest debt collector. From a life of crime and fear, Sean has taken a remarkable journey towards redemption and an unexpected career change. Stick around as we uncover what happened to this notorious figure, debt collector. To start, let us know more about debt collectors. We've all experienced that sinking feeling when the phone rings from an unfamiliar number, triggering a mix of fear, shame, and anxiety. It's a familiar scenario. The dreaded call from a debt collector, disrupting your day, and turning a simple meal into a stressful affair. But just how far can debt collectors go? And when does their persistence cross the line into harassment? Debt collectors and collection agencies don't exactly top the popularity charts. In fact, they might be more disliked than Congress and Nickelback combined. With a staggering 70 million people facing bills in collections, it's safe to say that their reputation precedes them. The tactics employed by these agencies, governed by guidelines under the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act (FDCPA), often teeter on the edge between shady and overwhelming, occasionally plunging into the realms of manipulation and illegality. But fear not, because you don't have to be a victim of their schemes. In today's landscape, the arsenal available to debt collectors to secure payment is more restricted than ever. Before you part with a single cent, it's crucial to grasp the boundaries of what debt collectors can and cannot do, the notorious past. Now, for the main event, imagine the dark alleyways of Liverpool echoing with the chilling reputation of Sean Smith, a once feared gang enforcer whose name struck fear into the hearts of many. His sinister activities included spraying houses with machine guns, inflicting torture, and utilizing homemade napalm creating a legacy that sent shivers down the spines of those who crossed his path. This disturbing chapter in Sean's life unfolded in the harsh reality of Liverpool's underworld, where he earned the notorious title of an urban terrorist. In the riveting Vice documentary of 2013, the world got an unfiltered glimpse into Sean Smith's dark exploits. He wasn't just a common criminal, he was the man who introduced urban terrorism to the British underworld, leaving an indelible mark on the criminal landscape. This documentary peeled back the layers of his menacing persona, showcasing a figure who operated outside the boundaries of conventional criminality. However, as the documentary unfolded, so did the unexpected turn in Sean Smith's narrative. After a tumultuous period marked by violence and crime, Smith found himself behind bars, serving five years for firearms offenses. It was within the confines of the prison walls that he began to contemplate a radical transformation. In those stark, cold prison cells, where time seemed to both drag on and fly by, Sean Smith confronted the consequences of his actions. The realization that his life was spiraling down a dangerous path prompted him to seek a new direction. It was a pivotal moment that would set the stage for a remarkable journey of redemption and reinvention. Unlikely career change. Now, picture this unexpected twist in Sean Smith's narrative. As he emerged from the shadows of prison life, the question loomed, what would a former gang enforcer do next? The answer was as unconventional as it was intriguing. Sean became a debt collector. But this wasn't your run-of-the-mill debt collection gig. It was a plunge into the murky waters between the legitimate economy and the underworld. Unlike the typical debt collector, Sean's assignments navigated the gray areas of legality and morality, creating a niche market potentially worth billions. His unique approach to debt collection became the stuff of legend, straddling the line between the legitimate and the clandestine. It was a journey that fascinated viewers across the globe, propelling his story into viral fame and amassing millions of views. Yet, Sean's foray into debt collection wasn't merely about the thrill of the chase or the shadowy intrigue of his assignments. It marked the beginning of a second act in a life characterized by stark contrasts. From the chaos of criminal enterprises, he now found himself entangled in the complexities of financial disputes, a shift that defied expectations and raised eyebrows in equal measure. Little did the world know that this was just the prelude to an even more unexpected chapter in Sean Smith's extraordinary tale of redemption. From debt collector to gym owner. If you thought Sean Smith's journey couldn't get more surprising, brace yourself for the next chapter. Sean's path to redemption veered into unforeseen territory as he traded debt collection for a completely unexpected venture, owning a gym in Warrington. 
However, this wasn't just any gym. Visitors fondly referred to it as a community center, a place that transcended traditional fitness establishments. Smithy's gym became a haven for change and transformation, embodying the spirit of redemption in bricks and iron. The dimly lit alleys and shadowy dealings of his past now contrasted sharply with the vibrant atmosphere pulsating within the gym's walls. Sean, drawing from his unconventional life experiences, tapped into a new role as a mentor and guide. Here, the man once known as the UK's scariest debt collector found solace and purpose. Leveraging his background as a bare-knuckle boxer, Sean embarked on a mission to teach others not only the art of physical combat, but also the principles of discipline, resilience, and self-discovery. His gym became a canvas for personal reinvention, proving that sometimes, redemption can manifest in the most unexpected places. In transforming a space traditionally associated with physical prowess into a community hub, Sean Smith demonstrated that the journey to redemption isn't confined to conventional narratives. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for positive change, even for those once labeled as the scariest figures in society. Hollywood Calling. Just when you thought his transformation from feared enforcer to gym owner was the climax, negotiations with production companies and agents have kicked off for a potential Hollywood film inspired by Sean's riveting life story. The documentaries with Vice, chronicling his intense days as a debt collector and the subsequent establishment of Smithy's Gym, weren't just viral sensations. They sparked a global fascination. Millions of viewers tuned in, captivated by the extraordinary tale of redemption unfolding before their eyes. Now, the silver screen beckons as Sean's life story seems destined for the cinematic spotlight. The prospect of a Hollywood film adds an electrifying chapter to Sean's narrative, transcending the confines of documentary storytelling. His journey, marked by twists and turns that rival the most gripping scripts, could soon unfold on the grand stage of Tinseltown. As negotiations unfold behind closed doors, the world eagerly awaits the cinematic portrayal of a man who defied the odds, transforming his life from the shadows of crime to the brink of Hollywood stardom. Mental Health Struggles Beyond the glitz and glamour of his newfound life, Sean Smith's story delves into the raw and often overlooked struggles of mental health. His journey, riddled with challenges, took a toll on his psyche, particularly after surviving attempts on his life. While navigating the harsh realities of prison, Sean found himself grappling with the weight of his experiences, leading to a prescription of antipsychotic medication. Sean opened up about the difficulties he faced while on the medication and the pivotal decision to wean himself off for the sake of his family and personal well-being. The harsh realities of his past, including car bombings, shootings, and persistent threats, left an indelible mark on his mental health. Sean's admission sheds light on the toll that a life of constant danger and turmoil can take on one's psyche. The struggles he faced within prison walls, coupled with the external threats that lingered even after his release, prompted a reflection on the impact of such a tumultuous existence. In recognizing the toll on his mental well-being, Sean made the brave choice to transition away from antipsychotic medication, a decision driven by a desire for a more stable and fulfilling life. His story serves as a reminder that behind the headlines and cinematic potential lies a person who grappled with the very real challenges of mental health. Sean's resilience in the face of adversity extends beyond the physical realm, demonstrating the importance of addressing and overcoming the mental scars left by a turbulent past. Sean Smith's story is a testament to the power of change and redemption. From the UK's scariest debt collector to a gym owner, bare knuckle boxing coach, and potentially a Hollywood inspiration, Sean's journey is one of resilience and transformation. What do you think of this incredible turnaround? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more intriguing stories. Until next time, stay curious.